What's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here doing another Marvel Legends figure review on the Infinite Series Avengers Odin the Allfather build a figure waves avenging allies Sentry. If you're trying to get a lock on these figures you can do it. Big, big, big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. Gotta give a big thanks to my friend Chupankas for making this review possible. Thanks so much for looking out man. And this Sentry figure, oh my goodness, I did not think we were going to get this figure at all and here it is. Speaking of Sentry, we're Century Productions, huh? Somebody tell me. But anyway, on the side of the packaging, you get Machine Man right over here, and that's the running change figure, and then you can see on the back it says, Avenging Allies, these heroes fight to find their origins and discover their true identities. Okay, and then you can see all the other figures on the wave, and then on the side we get Sentry right over there. Anyway, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's our new Sentry figure out of the packaging, and man, this figure is hella sick. I really dig this figure a lot. I'm very pleased with it. Waited a very, very long time to get this guy. I didn't think it was going to happen, and I'm so glad that we have it now. Now originally he was supposed to be the running change for the Hyperion figure, which we didn't get. Now in this wave, he's the running change for Machine Man. Sentry comes with the arms to build Odin. I didn't mention that earlier. And I love these Mafex stands. Just looks so cool. Now I really like the head sculpt on this figure. I really don't have any complaints. That chin looks a little bit large though. Large enough to make Bruce Campbell jealous, right? <laughs> we get a really nice flesh tone also. You get some nice wrinkles and lines throughout the sculpted face. The nose looks pretty good. I like how the white paint came out over his eyes. You get some some nice yellow for the eyebrows. I really like how we're getting a lighter yellow and a darker yellow here. So we get some variation of colors and I just think that looks awesome. Looks pretty natural to me. I'm digging that as well. Now this little part of the hair kind of hinders the neck movement a little bit. I like putting a hair dryer to this and then tilting it back. You get a little bit more flexibility over there. But I gotta say overall I'm just very pleased with this head sculpt. Now a couple of minor gripes with the figure. I don't really like how this cape section is painted on there. Uh, it's just a flat paint. You know what I mean? They didn't sculpt anything around there which is something I really didn't expect. So that's why I say it's a minor complaint. Then my figure did arrive with a couple of little blue scuffs of paint. And thanks to Solid Snake, he gave me the advice of using the flat edge of an X-Acto knife to just slowly just scrape off the blue paint. You don't want to use rubbing alcohol. You may take off paint that you want to keep on there. Because this overall has a great paint job, I think they did a great job of mixing in two different colors of yellow. You get a darker yellow and a brighter yellow over there, and it just mixes in and out throughout the whole figure, and I think it looks really good. I think his belt looks awesome. I really like how the gold looks on this. I think it's really cool how you can actually get a different color right there on the edges of this. And then right here, uh, it sucks that they gave him a right hand with an open grip because he doesn't really hold anything. I wish he had two fists, so that's a big bummer. I have no idea why they did this. Thanks to Mr. Phils, and you can check out his Instagram. I'll put a link in the description below. He showed that you can use a hair dryer and remove the right fist to Hyperion and switch it off and put it on this one over here. And the paint is pretty consistent on the legs too. I really like how the darker yellow and brighter yellow comes in and out on here. We don't get any shadowing effect or color variation for the blue section. Pretty much the same boots and sculpt that we got on Hyperion. Not a big deal. Then same thing with this cape. We're familiar with this cape. Of course there's that other hole right there for that other piece that goes to Hyperion which we're not going to need. And here's looking at the back of it. You know, It looks like there's not nearly as much paint detail. And I don't know why they can't put the numbers at the bottom of the feet. And by the way he does have peg holes down here too. And I did mention that the head has a hard time moving upwards. Uh, you can't get him to look down. His head rotates side to side. It does get a little bit loose but not nearly as loose as the Guardian figure. So, And you can get a little bit neck pivot. His shoulders move outward, they move forward, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, wrist move side to side, hinge up and down, great ab crunching joint, you can move this belt up and down as you wish, so you can move that downward and get him crunching all the way forward, he crunches all the way back, you get a great waist swivel over here, oops, and the belt did come apart as I used that waist swivel, and that plugs right back in just okay, so you gotta shift the belt around as you use that joint, hips move outward quite a bit, you can give him a kick forward and move back, he has an upper thigh swivel over here, he has double jointed knees, boot rotation, Angles move down, they move up, and a beautiful ankle pivot. Great articulation on this guy. I'm very pleased with this figure. Now this Sentry figure stands at 7 inches tall. And here's Sentry side by side with the Hyperion figure. Then here's Sentry compared to the other figures from the wave that I've reviewed so far. And here's Sentry compared to the Marvel Legends Kazar, and then one of the four original Sentry figures right over there. This is the one I preferred out of those four. And over the years, I've seen so many people take the head from this one and pop it onto that figure over there. And that just really goes to show how well Hasbro has answered our prayers with this new Sentry figure. And here's Sentry with my Dark Avengers. 
this is looking so sick. Now, of course, I could have used any other Hawkeye or Sentry figure to form this team, but I think these two new figures look best for the Dark Avengers. All I need now is the proper suits for Novar and Moonstone to match this group. And, of course, here he is next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Legends Spider-Man. Then here's Sentry with the swapped right fist from the Hyperion figure, and it looks so much better like this. I don't know why they didn't give two fists to both figures. I just think that would have been a much better move. I may leave my figure like this, or I may switch it back. Unfortunately, my Hyperion figure is going to have two open hands. Eh, what you gonna do? So we'll see what I do with that display-wise in the future. I hope you guys liked my video. If you did, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button right over there. Check out my last two videos right over here. And make sure you check out MarvelousNews.com for a photo gallery of images from this review. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Thank you.